Hey guys, it's Katie again, or Catherine, depending on how you know me. Um, I thought I would do one last video blog while I was here in this beautiful space, and I was planning on doing one anyways, and then I was um, checking my email and came across one in my inbox that inspired me to do this. So I got an email from an old friend, and uh, she seemed like she was struggling a bit, as we all are. And uh, she mentioned that she she felt like she was making progress and getting closer to where she wanted to be, but that every time she made steps forward, there were these walls that would pop up um, to hinder her, her progression or her progress. And um, she was very defeated by it, or that's how it sounded. And, and she ended up saying that she really can't wait until the day that these walls stop cropping up. And that inspired me to... Um, to do this video post because I guess for me I kind of think there's always walls there's always going to be things that crop up and there's always going to be things that can stop us from getting to where we want to go and where we're meant to go um, the trick is is to find ways around them so I guess I liken it to this if I decide today I wake up and I say okay today I'm going to go to Vancouver I have a plan I know where I'm going, so I know that when I leave my house, I'm going to get in my car, and I'm going to go to Vancouver. That should be easy enough. However, um, let's say I get out to my car and my battery's dead. That's a wall. That's, that's pre preventing me from getting to Vancouver. So what do I do? Well, I know I need to get to Vancouver, so I ask my neighbor for a boost, or I call BCAA get my battery charged and I get on my way. Then I get in my car and I realize, oh, I have no gas. Stop at a gas station and get some. But that could be considered another wall. Having no gas would be something that would prevent you from getting to your destination. So let's say that I'm driving along, my battery's charged, I've got gas, and then I get a flat tire. That's a piss off, like, let's be honest. Those are a lot of things going wrong. But I know I need to get to Vancouver. So my tire's flat, I've got two options the way I see it. I can call BCAA again. I could flag somebody down. Three options. I could do it myself. I can change a tire. So, um, though that would be another wall in my trip to Vancouver, there's definitely ways around it. And then I'm merrily on my way, going to Vancouver. I got the windows down, the music cranked, and I'm enjoying life. And then I realize I've taken a wrong turn. Another wall. But again, I have options. I can stop and ask someone directions. I can grab my GPS. I can take the scenic route and discover something fun along the way is what, that's what I often do. I don't expect anyone else to do that. It's not very normal, but I, I do it a lot. And I always end up meeting really cool people and having tons of fun. Um, so if you haven't tried it, maybe try. Anyways, my point is this. There's always walls. There's always things that come up that prevent us or hinder us getting where we want to go, where we thought we were going. But we have to find ways around it. Sorry, the dog just knock the computer. Um, we have to find ways around it. We have to, we have to let these walls, these things that are hard come up and we have to find ways to keep going anyway, because there's never going to be a time when they're not going to come up. And if we always continue to wait for that time, we're always going to be stuck exactly where we are. And if where we are is somewhere where we're not happy, um, we're not fulfilled, we're not satisfied, but we're waiting until walls stop coming up, to move, you're always going to stay where you are. All of us will. So next time something comes up and gets in your way, don't let it be the stop sign. Don't let it stop you. Or let it stop you and stop for your legal three seconds and then move the hell on. It's okay. It's okay to stop and then it's okay to start again. But just don't stop and stay there. So at times like these, I know it can be rough, trust me, I've had a ton of stop signs in my own life and a ton of walls that I have had to find ways around. But find, find a way. Find somebody to go to for advice. There's people like me, there's life coaches everywhere, um, you know, trusted members of your community, family and friends that you love and cherish who give great advice. You can meditate on it, you can ask your gut. All these things are really great tools to help you to figure out how to get to where you need to be and get over or around this wall or to how to start again after you've stopped. Um, you're not alone, trust me, all of us go through this. That's the biggest thing to remember is that you're not the only one. Um, but don't let it stop you.
there is an absolutely amazing life out there waiting to be lived if only we stop letting these walls get in our way so i'll leave you with that i'm gonna go enjoy the porch on this beautiful sunny day and i hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves as well if there's ever any advice that you need please reach out for it there's lots of people out there who are willing to help have a great day